Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. This is the first time I'm decorating one of the months in my Obonichi Weeks on camera, like the monthly setup. I have decorated a couple of the months uh, already previously, but I kind of wanted to get the feel of it and stuff before doing it on camera and I figured my first video of this kind of thing would be October and I'm going to be using my own kit for this like from my own shop because I've been trying to tweak them and stuff and I really like this pattern like this sub subtle ivory skull pattern thing for Halloween month like spooky season so I'm kicking it up with this and then I have made some date covers and a month name and just like a monthly little kit that I have foiled in orange foil for this and yeah so I I'm going to just start putting the deco down and I hope you enjoyed this type of thing. Let me know if you like this and want, want me to make more of them, either by giving a thumbs up or commenting below. I am always open to you guys' input. And I love replying to your comments and like reading your tips and everything. And if you've seen my haul video where I hold my Obonichis for next year, then you know I am going with another weeks. But I am going for the Mega next time. And I am thinking of making this one of the videos I do month, if you like them. Maybe we'll see if I do this as its own video like this, or maybe I'll do them like as a part of the first week of the, of the new month. Definitely let me know you guys' thoughts about that. That would really be, be appreciated. I'm sorry if this is not a very talkative video. Sometimes we all have days like that, you know. But we are getting ready for October already, and I can't believe it's already October. Like, really, that where did where am I putting this? Am I putting this? Yeah, I'm putting this down here, I think. Just like that. Because I like to use all of these. Sometimes how many I need depends on like the layout of the month. So so sometimes I need all of them, sometimes I don't need all of them. And I like getting like all my neutrals, like the strips for the date coverings and stuff down first. And then I go over with the numbering after.
And like I said, I really like to hear you guys' input. I've never made these kinds of kits like before, or well, I've been working on them for a while now. I'm kind of nervous about posting them in the shop, so feedback is definitely appreciated. Like if if this is your thing, if you don't like them, like that kind of thing. Do you like using kits like this? Like how much of the month do you like decorating and covering up? Do you use these pages for functional planning or for memory keeping, or for tracking things? I know some people use these for like tracking steps and kind of, that kind of thing. I'm going to use them as functional planning. I have a bit of a dilemma because this is an April start. Obonichi, like I got this in April of 2021. And I'm a little bit unsure of what I'm going to do because I... Uh, because I got a December start or... January start but it starts in December so that means I have like double the amount of of like December and January and like I have doubles of all the month monthly layouts and also for all the weeks from December 2020 and up to April. Of tw uh, I mean, of course, December 2022, no, 2021, until April 2022. And I'm, I kind of hate abandoning a notebook or not a notebook planner, like without using it entirely, which gives me the dilemma. What do I do with those extra, extra months? I do do it this way because I remember, like I mark the first like Monday or whichever number. So I know which day the month starts like this but yeah so I'm a little unsure what I'm gonna do I think maybe I could use like I could use them for gratitude or like a highlight but I do like I have a memory keeping planner I use my Happy Planner, Classic Happy Planner as memory keeping. So that would also be like doubling up of information. And I already have like at the back of this Hobonichi Weeks, I, because I don't use the classic every day, like the Happy Planner Classic, I don't use that every day. So I have, let me just see if I can find that's not written on yeah you can see here I've made lists like this so I write like a highlight or whatever just a couple of short no notes on what the highlight of that day was so because I use the monthly layout in my happy Pl planner classic for a sticker a day so I write the highlights down on my list here, and then I choose a sticker that, or yeah, that represents 
that highlight or one of those highlights as closely as possible. So, I mean, I could transfer that over to the monthly layouts maybe, but I don't know if I want to be memory keeping in like that many places because that's like the short highlight. I also, if I have room for it, just jot things like highlights and just gen general short notes on what we did every day. Like we did if we did something special or we didn't do anything special, that kind of thing. I jot down during the week too. So it's in my weekly pages sometimes. It's in my uh, like highlight list. It's in my bullet journal. It's in my Hobonichi class. No, I'm sorry. It's in my happy planner classic and then it would be, it's in the family journal, which is like a more in depth, like just general journaling thing. Whilst the, the, I can't speak today. Whilst the Happy Planner Classic thing is more of a, like stickers and some pictures and stuff. Like I, I do my memory keeping in a lot of places already, so if I were to memory keep in here, then that would be, I don't know, just extra, extra, you know? Do I want to do this down here or up here? Or do I want something extra? I think I have some extra pumpkin stickers, yes. One, just some extra ones that I cut. If I did this, like that, and then I add October over here. And then this this area I use for like specific notes if there's anything big happening in the month and stuff because I'm using this functionally for like future planning and stuff. I mean I have as I've mentioned I have this one which is just I don't think I have a blank page in there to show you but it's just like a monthly layout like this but I don't decorate that at all. It's just strictly pen because there's like code for where I'm going for work and that kind of thing in there. So it's like I never take pictures of it and I don't like, I don't use it. It's like not like very classified information, but like borderline classified information. So I don't share that. So I ha already have a lot of October like mapped out in there, but everything like for the kids and stuff. Like I'll put their school schedules and things in here and then I'll put my my work and my boyfriend's work things and everything in here. So I'm going to try to decorate these like more in advance than I am, am now. So sometimes they will be filmed like months in advance. Maybe you will see. I'm gonna try to stay more on top of, of that in the next month. And then these ones, like my payday, I don't know yet. I won't know until it gets closer and which days I have off. I also don't know yet, so I'm gonna keep this in my cover here somewhere and then I'll use that as I get there during the month. And then the same goes for these like little flags and deco strips and stuff I'll use these for like if we have a lot if we have a lot going on on the same day then I can just like block it off like this so I'll put something here and then I'll put a flag here and something and write on that because all of this is on matte sticker paper so it's writable except for the date dots which are unclear and then yeah 
and then I'll continue like I'll use it to separate things so it's easier visually to see them so that's why I have these like different flags and I have like strips and flags just to like make them different kind of thing and also I'll use sticky notes on here like at the back of my wigs I have excuse the mess but I have these round sticky notes so if something is not for definite but is planned for like a semi set date or planned for October I'll put the sticky note here and write it on there and then I can move it around if I have to but yeah this is my setup for October in my Hobonichi weeks and I hope you like it there will also be a video coming for the setup of the weeks Though those I try to post them every Sunday sometimes they don't go up on the on the Sunday but during the week at least I try to get them out in the week they are for so I hope you like this give me a thumbs up and definitely a comment if you like this or if there's something you want me to tweak or just general suggestions if you like these videos if you want them as separate videos if you want me to incorporate them into the first week of the month that kind of thing definitely let me know and consider sticking around and subscribing so you can get notifications for when I post my other videos I do a lot of different planners on here as you've heard I have like journals and bullet journals and happy planner definitely have a different selection of happy planner sizes that I got into this year and I want to keep going for next year because that kind of thing memory keeping seems to be working for me but thank you so much for watching and giving me the little piece of your day and I'll see you in the next one goodbye